If you click on the settings icon, the small gear symbol below this video, you'll notice a feature that's rare in most videos, the ability to switch between audio tracks in different languages. This lets you listen to a dubbed version instead of relying solely on subtitles. However, this feature isn't widely available yet. It's limited and requires a special request to enable it. Out of the 6,000 questions we've received from our valuable users, we've gathered the most frequently asked ones in this video. We'll be answering the most important. Can you enable audio tracks for your own channel? How can it be done? What are the economics of this feature? Does it work for shorts channels or only long form content? And finally, which is better? Enabling audio tracks or creating separate channels for dubbed content. Let's dive in. Most of you are here to find out how to enable audio tracks on your channel, as it's the most frequently asked question. So let's start with that. If you've watched other videos or heard YouTube gurus discussing audio tracks, you may have noticed that many don't have this feature enabled themselves. Instead, they often ask for your email or redirect you to a service that can do it for you. Many suggest that enabling audio tracks is a difficult or costly process, but here's the truth. It doesn't cost you anything. All you need to do is open a ticket with YouTube through this link. Submit your application, and while there's no guarantee they'll approve it, this is the simplest way to try enabling it. If your application is unsuccessful, let us know, and we'll do our best to assist you in unlocking the feature. There's also a guaranteed method to enable audio tracks on your channel. Joining a YouTube MCN, or multi-channel network. Once you're part of a network that has this feature enabled, your channel will automatically become eligible for it. Of course, joining an MCN comes with its own pros and cons, which we can discuss in another video if you're interested. If you're looking for an MCN that offers this feature, let us know in the comments. So, why is dubbing becoming a game changer in the content world? The answer is simple. YouTubers make money based on advertising costs in each country. Here's the scoop. YouTube takes a 45% cut of ad revenue, leaving creators with 55%. In countries like Turkey, Brazil, Russia, and India, ad costs are much lower compared to high CPM countries like the USA, Canada, and Japan. So for creators in low CPM regions, dubbing their content into high CPM markets is a no-brainer. But even high CPM channels can benefit from dubbing into other languages. While the CPM might drop in those regions, the boost in views can be massive. After all, only 20% of the world speaks English, so dubbing opens the floodgates to a huge new audience. In our upcoming videos, we'll dive deep into real analytics, comparing dubbed and original channels. We'll show you the exact stats on how much these channels are earning across different countries. So, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out. Now let's take a quick look at the economics behind dubbing. For demonstration purposes, we manually dubbed our last video into Turkish, English, and Spanish using professional voice actors. For the Turkish version, we hired a voice actor through Fiverr. As you can see from the offer, it costs $60 for 130 characters in a one minute and 10 second video. The project was completed 14 hours after payment. The Spanish voiceover cost $50 and the English voiceover came in at $80. Now, before you comment, yes, these prices are on the higher side, but they can vary depending on the voice actor you choose. Typically, the minimum price for a voiceover starts at around $10 per minute, but we didn't go for the cheapest options. We selected the voices we like best. Now let's quickly give the AI method a try. I click on AI dubbing, paste the link, choose the target language, and click next. After a short waiting period, I review the text for any errors, then move to the next step. The voice is automatically cloned, and in no time, I have the dubbed version. I download it, selecting translated voice, because I'll be uploading audio tracks. This whole process cost me about 30 cents. All right, now that we've compared the costs of traditional dubbing versus AI dubbing, let's talk about what happens next once you have your video or audio track. Some YouTubers create new channels for their dubbed content, while others prefer to upload audio tracks to their main channel. Then there are those who do both. So, which approach is better? To be honest, this feature is still relatively new and there isn't enough data to give a definitive answer. Each case is different and should be evaluated based on individual goals and audience. Share your current strategy in the comments. Our take? We believe in doing both, creating new channels and uploading audio tracks on your main channel. This way, your dubbed channels can drive traffic to your main channel. And since the video is already dubbed, it's just a matter of uploading it to multiple places. Pro tip for those creating new channels. Try using age channels. 
Thousands of new YouTube channels are created every day, and many immediately start posting content. The problem with fresh channels is that they may struggle to get impressions for a long time, leading to frustration and causing many creators to quit. Using an aged channel can help avoid this issue. Once audio tracks are activated on your channel, go to the Subtitles section in YouTube Studio and click on Add Language. After uploading the audio file, make sure to update the title and description as well. This allows YouTube to display your content in the appropriate language based on the viewer's location and language settings. The title, description, and audio track will all be automatically tailored to viewers' preferences. It's that simple. Thank you for watching our first video. Our goal is to provide valuable insights about YouTube and content management. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for our next video. If you have any topics you'd like us to cover, drop them in the comments. See you in the next one.